What is up guys and welcome to the Royalty Family and today I have a very special video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to start a YouTube channel in 2018, okay? And these are five simple steps that anyone can follow if they're just now starting or wanting to start a YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's get right into it, okay guys? So maybe you, some of you watching this video were like me, you know, thought, oh, I don't have this $1,000 camera or this $900 software, but trust me, you don't need that, okay? That's why I'm making this video. So first step is that you need to come up with an idea of what you wanna do on YouTube, okay? And it's kind of hard at first, you know, trying to narrow down like, you know, what kind of videos do I want to put on the platform? But trust me, if you kind of narrow it down, it doesn't have to be super specific, but just narrow down of what exactly do you want to put out there in the world for people to watch, okay? So um, it could be very niche, like just cooking, just straight cooking videos, or maybe just beauty tutorials. Um, for me, mine is vlogs. Um, I kind of like made it of overview of things, so it's not very specific, but it is. So it's vlogs, comedy, in my everyday life so just think about what exactly you want to do and then from there you can build off of that okay you want to start branding your channel and what i mean by that is you know start making channel art specific to the content that you're putting out start making your logo or maybe your profile photo is just gonna be your face but whatever you want to do start crafting your channel setting it up for the video that you're going to post okay. all right so step number two is the camera okay so what kind of made me push YouTube well for a while was you know I thought I didn't have the camera I didn't have the thousand dollar DSLR that a lot of these youtubers have I didn't have the money for that so I was like man if only I had that money to get the camera and then I realized like guys we have phones on us all the time and these phones have great great cameras so i mean i'm starting my first youtube video on an iphone um i have a whole bunch of iphones and so iphones work perfectly okay and even if you don't have an iphone androids work perfectly you know and then even this i'm just kidding i don't know i don't know what this is but um just as long as it shoots very well very clear um, footage and that's all you really need to be honest you don't need a super expensive camera and the phones in our pocket work just well like currently I'm shooting on the iPhone 8 plus that shoots 4k resolution a lot of DSLRs and super expensive cameras don't even shoot in 4k so I would say don't worry so much about the camera it's more about the content that you're putting out and the ideas you have in your head so just grab your phone and start shooting okay all right guys so now it's time for step number three which is editing okay so now that you made you know your channel art and your profile picture and you actually shot your video you know what are you going to use to edit it you can't just open up your iphone or samsung or whatever you have and just crop the video crop the video and crop it some more that doesn't that doesn't really you know work on youtube so and most people you know ask me all the time hey what do you edit what do you use to edit blah blah blah, blah. And i would say um for beginners, DaVinci Resolve 12.5, okay? So DaVinci Resolve 12.5 is free for Mac and PC, and it works very, very well. And it's very similar to, I'd say, like Final Cut Pro or anything kind of similar to that, and it's free. So definitely uh, DaVinci Resolve 12.5 is what I would say for anyone starting off YouTube, just trying to get into editing, who probably don't have any editing experience, I would say that. That's what I started off with. And um, it's pretty simple, and there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube about how to use it, okay? So I'll put that link in the description if you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve. And then the next one I would say to up your game if you're looking to do YouTube, you know, seriously, and you might have a little bit of spare change left over to kind of use on editing, I would say Final Cut Pro, okay? So this is what, you know, almost every YouTuber uses. I use it, and right now... It's probably about $400 on the iTunes store. So if you don't have $400, a lot of people, you know, don't want to, you don't feel comfortable spending that much money, especially just starting off with YouTube. So, but definitely if you want to take it to the next level, I would say use Final Cut Pro. Um, it's definitely useful. It has so many features and so many tools on it. And that's what I would say would be the go-to. But if you can't strive for that yet, or just kind of dabbling into YouTube, just use DaVinci Resolve 12.5, okay? So next up is number four, 
And number four is something that I wish I knew when I first started YouTube, and it's called Handbrake, okay? So Handbrake is super, super, super useful for anyone who wants to upload their videos faster. And I don't know why, you know, YouTube maybe doesn't implement this in their uploading process, but YouTube uploading process sucks, okay? It sucks so badly because even if you have a five minute video or two minute video, it'll take you hours to upload. Like I'm talking about like eight hours, six hours to upload a video, it's ridiculous. So with Handbrake, it saves the same file you have after you edited your software and you save it, that same file, you're just gonna put it into Handbrake. And what Handbrake does is it creates a copy of it, same you know quality, but it just makes the file size a lot, lot smaller, okay? So anywhere between like 50 and about 80% smaller. And that makes a big difference when trying to upload it to YouTube. So your uploading times will go from, you know, eight hours without Handbrake to maybe two hours with Handbrake. It's, it's amazing, okay? So definitely check it out. Link is in the description, it's totally free. And um, that's what a lot of YouTubers are using now, you know, you shoot a video, Bang, upload it in two hours. It's pretty It's pretty good. Um, definitely make sure you check it out and use it for you. Last but not least, guys, is number five, and that is the thumbnail, okay? The thumbnail on YouTube is so important to driving traffic to your channel, having people click on your videos. It's super important. Like, YouTube without a thumbnail would be like a boring website with a whole bunch of text with white backgrounds. Um, kind of like Craigslist. <laughs> So you want to have a thumbnail that actually captures your audience, you know, makes them want to click on that video. So example, how you want to do it is if you're a vlogger, you want to have your face in that thumbnail. Somewhere in that thumbnail needs to be your face, okay? It's your video. People want to see that it's you, okay? So have your face in it. Um, if you're a gamer, a whole bunch of colors and contrast and brightness and just a crazy looking video. If you're, you know, doing nature, or cooking, you want to have kind of like a clean but still crisp and clear thumbnail, okay? So you want to kind of tailor it. Here's a couple of mine um, for my vlogs that, you know, you want to click on these. You want to see what is this going on in this video, you know? So that's what I want you guys to do. You know, make great thumbnails. You, want to, you don't want to do clickbait, like, no. YouTube's trying to get away from that and having genuine thumbnails. So I'm going to show you guys kind of how to make a good thumbnail. So Adobe Spark is what I use when I want to put a whole bunch of photos kind of together. So you take a background that you found and then you put, you know, once you cropped out your face and the background of it, you throw that in Adobe Spark and bang, voila. Now you got a kind of a collage that you can colorize and make it all nice and save it. There you go, that easy. Now you got a thumbnail, okay? So with that thumbnail, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you edit the size of it. This is very important for anyone who wants to you know, have great thumbnails. You're gonna make sure the size is 1280 by 720. This is the requirements for a great thumbnail on YouTube to fit the little box that you see, okay? All right guys, so that's it for the five tips, but now I have a couple special secret tips that I'm gonna include in this video. And one of those is getting a mic like this, okay? So you might have not noticed it throughout the whole video, but I have a little lavalier mic and I'll put this in the description below, but they're so useful to having clear, super clear and crisp audio in your videos. Especially, you know, if you wanna shoot pranks or anything like that, you know, you can walk across the street and still get great audio with one of these bad boys. So definitely, if you wanna, you know, buy one of these, they're only like $20 um, on Amazon, that would definitely up the value of your videos, okay? So the second tip is, getting a power bank, okay? So the power bank will come in so handy, especially if you're a vlogger. Definitely you need it. You don't ever wanna be out somewhere, you know, vlogging and your phone just dies. Like that's the worst feeling ever. So invest in a power bank. I mean, they have them on Amazon for like $10. I'll include some really, really good ones that I use in this description of this video as well. So the last tip is getting you a good solid tripod, okay? Starting out on YouTube, you don't need an expensive, $100, $50 tripod, and a link in the description, I'll put a $20 tripod that I use personally. You want a tripod because no one wants to watch, you know, a bouncy, jittery video, like, no. Up your quality, just invest, you know, 20 bucks, get a nice little tripod, and you'll feel like an actual YouTuber. People will see you, like, going like this out in public, and they're like, hey, God, like, what are you doing? Like, but, you know, that's how you get subscribers, that's how you, you know, talk to people and interact with people about what you do on YouTube. And so definitely invest in a tripod. All right, guys. So those are my little secret tips. I hope you learned something from today. If you did, 
please leave a thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And hey, hit that subscribe button. Come join Realty Family. I got a bunch of funny pranks and vlogs coming up as well as in-depth views on Final Cut Pro and Handbrake. And I think you guys will just you know, benefit from that as well. So hit that subscribe button. Thanks for checking out the video and congrats on starting your new YouTube channel, okay? Definitely. So it's your boy Prince Mason, like always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.